of plastic bags lying around like I do. Let's look at three ways we can reuse them in recycled art. For our first project, we're going to begin working on a piece of parchment paper. This will not be part of our artwork, but when we heat the plastic later, this will help it not stick to the surface. So we're going to make, have to make sure that all of our plastic can fit in this piece of parchment paper. So we're going to need a good base for our landscape art with recycled plastic. So we're going to need to cut some plastic bags. These ones work great. Grocery bags work awesome. We're just going to cut it to fit. As you can see here, plastic bags are kind of hard to cut, but just keep going with it. Maybe even rip it if it gets a little tricky. Start a cut and rip it. Don't get too frustrated. It's all right. We'll make it work. <laughs> you, kind of fold, you can kind of fold your bag to fit. I'm going to rip that part off. I just want a really good base for our landscape, for our plastic bag art to stick on. All right. I think this will do here. I have like four layers. You need at least two layers in order for it to, to work out. So now you can go ahead and start looking at different plastic bags. Like I've got some of different colors here to lay on top to make our piece of art. I'm just gonna work using your scissors. Cutting them out, maybe you wanna use some packaging. I kind of like this little piece of flag on this packaging. You can lay them on there any way you want. I don't know, I kind of like these berries too. I'm going to cut these out. It's okay if you get the back on there. That will still work just fine. You can also add um, some recycled fruit netting if you'd like you could make a picture on here you could just go with some designs and what colors you like whatever's inspiring you I think I'm just kind of gonna go for a design here well, this bag has a lot of pink and red I'm gonna, gonna use some of that mm -hmm. Once I have my design here, I'm going to carefully cover it with another piece of parchment paper and we're going to carry it over to the iron where we're going to melt it all together. All right, moved on over to my ironing station. This is where you're going to need a grown up to help you. Um, I have my, this is a really huge iron meant for crafts that I'm going to use. It, I have it set to 300 if you have a similar one like this. Otherwise, about a medium heat on a regular iron would do about the same thing. We are just going to iron our plastic here. And we are gonna get it to shrink and melt together. Now those plastic shopping bags just love to shrink right on up. Some of these other plastics might take a little bit more. Let's take a look. Awesome. I have my brand new piece of art made from recycled plastic. Okay, to make our recycled plastic squishies, you're going to take your packaging, cut the bottom off, and cut a slit up the side. Now, we need to have this be flat so we're able to iron it. And the inside probably has some food residue on it. So we're gonna take a baby wipe and wipe off all of the food residue. So that's nice and clean. Also wiping up your table if any little chip or snack crumbs end up on the table. And this all goes into the garbage. All right, I have my flattened packaging between the two pieces of parchment paper. I'm gonna use my iron again to melt it. We're melting it because it's actually going to make the plastic stronger and make it shrink and it will make a nicer squishy for us. You can kind of see 
the texture of it has changed a little bit. It's kind of shrank up and it's become more durable. I think I'm gonna take our ironed packaging that now it's kind of thick and durable and strong. And we're going to tape it back together using packing tape. So you're gonna to wanna to put a piece of packing tape on two of the three sides. Okay, so you're gonna lay the piece of packing tape half onto the product and then half off so that we can fold it over like this. If you get a little extra on the end, just trim it off. So we have it taped on the bottom. We're gonna tape it on the other side. Doing the same thing. You put half the tape onto the package. And it's okay if it even sticks onto the table if that helps you. Peel it up, flip it over, put some on the other side. I didn't have any hanging off that time, but if you did, you just trim it right off. So I'm gonna have this um, chip pocket that we've made. And we're gonna put some stuffing into here. And if you have this polyfill stuffing, it's best to just give it a little fluff first. And you're gonna stuff it into your squishy. Now, obviously you want it to be squishy, but you don't want it to be overflowing. So we're gonna kind of fluff up our stuffing, put it in there. And that's kind of about enough in there. I kind of have a pretty full, because we're gonna need to tape this edge shut and if there's too much coming out that's going to be too hard to do and we're going to go ahead and this happens sometimes on the packing tape it's hard to find the edge if you need help make sure you ask for it this can be the most frustrating part <laughs> packing tape all right i'm going to put our Tape again, half on the packaging, kind of half on the table. Flip over, seal it shut, cut off the sides. And you're done. You have your recycled packaging squishy. All right, the last project we're going to make is a small bag. I'm gonna use this plastic that I made in the first activity to make a little purse. First thing we're gonna have to do is fold it in half. We're gonna make like a pocket. We're gonna have to trim these sides to be the same. All right, once we've got it trimmed up, we're gonna take a stapler. And we're gonna staple all along the edges. You're gonna want your staples to be um, in close enough that they don't easily come out. If they're too close to the edge, it would fall out, but we don't want them too far in so we're going to be covering them with duct tape and we want them to be all covered up. So you're going to staple along the two sides that you're going to want to be sealed. All right, there we go. I've got my staples in. Next, you're going to take a piece of duct tape. And we are going to cover up the staples. Sometimes easiest to start by cutting the duct tape and then rip it. And sometimes it just happens, it folds onto itself. You can try again with a new piece if it gets ruined. And we'll kind of do the same thing that we did with the packing tape on the squishies. I'm gonna cover up those staples, fold it over, cover it up again, trimming up any extra. We're gonna do it on the same side over here getting a piece of tape. You can either cut all the way through, but if you can't, you can just cut halfway through, give it a tear. We're gonna cover up the half of it again, turn it over and fold. All right, and then we got our pocket that can be used as a bag. We can easily make a handle for a bag by getting a piece of duct tape. Maybe stick it onto the edge of the table to help you cut. Do a little cut. How we make the handle is we're gonna fold this piece in half. And this may be a little tricky, but just have some patience. 
And if you if you have some that hangs over, you can always trim it off. Like here, I just have a teeny bit that hangs over. I think that's gonna be okay. I don't really need to worry about that too much. And then you can just go ahead and attach your handle onto your bag. You can do the staples first if that's easiest. And then this is just kind of an artistic choice. It's kind of up to you. You can cover up your handles with the duct tape. I'll go ahead and do the other side here real quick. All right, there you have it. Our recycled plastic tote bag. You can make the handles longer. Maybe only put one strap to make it a longer purse. We have our squishy here too. I hope you had fun creating things with recycled plastic.